What is your life? My honor is my life. What is your fate? My duty is my fate. What is your fear? My fear is to fail. What is your reward? My salvation is my reward. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be checking out Space Marine 2. Uh, but before we get into it, guys, I just want to do a quick shout out to everyone, all my subscribers, everyone that's watched my videos, everyone that's watched my shorts, my streams. You guys are freaking awesome. As of this video, we are over 3,000 subscribers, which is flipping insane. So big thank you to all of you guys for tuning in, subscribing, and just showing all of your support. It's freaking amazing. Um, and then just a quick uh, little snippet here is that we do stream every Wednesday at 7 p.m. as well as Saturday and Sunday both at 8 a.m. So make sure that you are subscribed so that you can be notified whenever we go live. And we try to post videos every Tuesday, but with work and so many games coming out, um, I try to do my best, but it's not always every Tuesday. But we try to at least upload weekly, that's for sure. Without further ado, let's jump right into Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. So starting off with the story, um, I feel like the whole story could be summarized as that one meme that's like, I don't know who I am, I don't, or I don't know who or where I am, all I know is I must kill. That's literally like Space Marine 2 to a T. I, I don't know what the heck is going on. There's like a ton of lore, there's a lot of backstory that is just... I just don't know and it seems really fascinating I'm not gonna lie like when you see like the freaking babies that are like flying around that are like half robotic I was like bro what there's a story here I don't know any of this stuff granted this is Space Marine 2 this is Warhammer I've never played any Warhammer game I've never played anything in the Space Marine universe as well so all of this stuff is very new to me and from a brand new player hopping in I'm like dude I have no idea what it's going on all I know is that we're fighting these Tyranids and uh, there's like agents of chaos or something like that that seem like that were part of the Space Marine Corps and then defected. Um, heresy, I hear that word a lot. There's a lot of heresy going on in this <laughs> this game. So as far as the story goes, man, I have no idea what's going on. But I have to say that it's it's still fun. Like I kind of got a, a a snippet of what I believe is going on. Like you play as uh, Titus and Titus. Uh, got accused of betraying his brothers or something like that some sort of heresy like I said a lot of some, some sort of heresy he committed and now they're fighting all of the Tyranids and the agents of chaos and those are like the main like we got to take those guys out that's that's pretty much all I understand and that's all you really need to understand if I'm being honest like as someone that is coming in brand new I basically had no idea what was going on but that's okay where the game really shines is its gameplay and combat is just super fun. And that's ultimately like where this game shines is the combat. It's a mixture of melee and shooting. You get various different weapons. Um, there's not as many in the melee department. I was really hoping for more melee weapons. Uh, you really just get the knife, uh, like the combat knife, there's a sword, and then a, a battle uh, hammer. I was really hoping for an axe, because that be very beginning cutscene, like you show like the dude get like that electric axe, and I'm like, oh man, that would be so sick. So there's a few different, you know, pistols and different style rifles that you can kind of mix and match to make different builds and whatnot. Along with the combat is that there is a ton of enemy variety. Of course, there's like, especially when you're fighting the Tyranids, you got like your normal dudes that swarm you actually reminds me a lot of uh oh, what was that game it was like the aliens fire team or something like that where you're just mowing down hordes of freaking aliens coming at you so this is very much reminds me of that um except for this one you got the people that are swarming you like that but then there's also some that have uh weapons and so they're shooting you and ones that go invisible so there's quite a variety of enemies and then on top of that you have the agents of chaos so quite a few different enemy varieties there really cool that like once you can get them down and you can execute them really fun it actually reminded me of like god of war in a sense where like you can get them down to like where they blink red and you just go up and you insta kill them super fun made it really uh addicting if i'm being honest because then you can even do ones where if you get a perfect parry you can turn around and it does like a whole like freaking uh, 
you pull out your pistol and just one shot them especially like the weaker enemies so a lot of enemy variety here there are quite a few bosses i should say quite a few there's there's a, a handful of bosses they're not very many uh, but the times that there are bosses are really cool like you're fighting that one dude that's got the flames like on his shoulders you fight him like twice two or three times stuff like that uh, his were pretty cool you fight like this giant like dragon that's got like a staff towards the end that was a pretty epic boss fight and then there's like oh what was it the hell brute there's a few hell brutes that you fight which is super sick so uh not too many boss fights if i'm being honest i was hoping for just a tad bit more but what we did get were pretty cool unfortunately with a lot of those bosses the melee is just not very effective at least in my my personal opinion it wasn't super effective you get super close range and yeah you could parry him like i parried at the hell brute a few different times but like you're you're gonna take some heavy damage for sure so it's better just to back up and just pull out your gun and just start shooting them um, i just played on normal difficulty like i didn't go anything too crazy i would imagine on those higher difficulties the game gets freaking insane uh, and you can play uh, this game in co-op mode too i i didn't um i think you could play up to two players it's like three like a squad of three um as far as like customization goes and like classes um, not so much during the playthrough as like the campaign when you're playing as Titus. There's a little bit where you can change some things. Like I ended up getting like the uh, pre-order bonus, which just gives you like a cool like medallion on his chest and like it, a, a few skin. Like they're all skin related. There's no like extra guns or swords or anything like that. So like your chainsaw sword does a little bit or has a cool design on it and whatnot. Um, but as far as customization goes for the multiplayer, there is a lot to customize. There's different classes. There's a ton. There's like the Vanguard. You got a guy with like a, a sword and shield, a guy that can like, and they all have like their own unique abilities. Like the guy with the shield is definitely, he can block all this stuff. And then you got another dude. I'm going to forget all of their names, all of the classes. One guy can like shoot like a grappling hook and just zoom across. You got a jetpack dude, a sniper dude. So there's a ton of different classes and each one of those classes has like their own customization stuff. You can swap out loads, weapons, uh, even like the color palettes, like you can make your dude look completely different. And there's like different tiers too. As you play more matches, you unlock more different helmets, different emblems, different colors. So ton of stuff. Like there is a lot to customize on each like armor piece and whatnot. So I did put dabble a little bit in the multiplayer. I played all of those like six missions for, uh, there's like two different multiplayer things. I'm going to draw a blank on them. I'll put them up on screen, so screen somewhere so you guys can see. But I did have fun with the multiplayer. A lot of fun. Uh, the campaign for sure was a ton of fun as far as like cons go I don't really have too many cons um, First thing is that the I did have a few frame drops a few times here and there And it was definitely when there was a ton of swarms It didn't happen too often it, the game actually ran fairly good But there was definitely one time where I'm just getting swarmed and it dropped for like a few seconds Picks itself back up and it seems to be all right, and then this is just more of a nitpicky thing, but um, I thought the game was incredibly short. I was playing the campaign, and I've only, I think it only took me like eight hours, eight to ten hours. Um, I want to say it was eight, and then I played quite a bit of the multiplayer. Like, I only have 15 hours total in the game, and I just remember cruising through the campaign, and all of a sudden it's like, yep, and that's it. And I'm like, oh, wow, this was really short. Like, so, that was, like, just, like, my thing is, like, I just wish that the game was a little bit longer, had a little bit more meat on it, but, man, what we got was, like I said, incredibly fun. I thought the, uh, just the combat in general was just very addicting. Like, I just could be fighting the swarms of freaking Tyranids for hours. Like, it was incredibly fun. Each one of the levels, were, they're pretty linear, if I'm being honest, for the most part, but, like, you go around the corner, you fight waves. It's just, like, the gameplay itself was incredibly fun. And I've said this quite a bit in a bunch of my videos. I think gameplay is king. And you can have a, a weak story, you can have weak graphics, but man, if the game is fun to play, I will be playing it nonstop. And then there's games that have really good story, I'm sure, and really good graphics. But man, if the gameplay is just not fun to play, you put it down, right? Um, I'm drawing a blank on some example. Oh, so here's a good example, like Avatar, the Frontiers of Pandora game. That game looked beautiful. Um, I don't know about the story because I actually quit because the gameplay was so freaking butt cheeks, but like I said, gameplay is king and the gameplay here is freaking fantastic. I had so much fun with it. Going into my final thoughts, guys, I think this game was awesome. I do wish that it was a little bit longer. 
Um, I don't really have any other complaints other than that the I don't know the story, but that's just on my end. There's so much back stuff to this that, like, as a new player jumping in, it is a little bit confusing as to what's going on, why is Titus, you know, banished, and what, why is there so much heresy going on? I don't know any of this stuff. But what we do have is freaking, freaking fantastic. The combat is great. The gunplay is great. The the uh, melee combat. I actually used the melee combat more than I did the guns. It was really fun just tearing through all the Tyranids and these like Agents of Chaos dudes. Combat was awesome. Weapon customization, or, or weapons and the customization with the multiplayer was a ton of fun. And that is why I'm going to give Warhammer 40k Space Marines 2 Wow, that's a mouthful. A 8 out of 10. It was just a solid, good game. It, I've heard this, like, people are talking about that it reminds me of, like, these 360 games, and it honestly really does. I didn't want to say that because I'm like, oh, everybody's saying that. But after playing it, I was like, no, yeah, they're, they're right. This is, like, literally reminding me of, like, 360 playing uh, Gears of War and stuff like that, where the, the story is just enough to just further the plot. But the gameplay is where it's at, and that's where Space Marine 2 really shines. I highly recommend it. If you guys haven't played it yet, this is a fun one to play. Playing with friends and stuff is always fun, but even more so here just because the gameplay is so much fun. Um, and yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys have played Space Marine 2. What would you guys think of it? Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And like I said, we do stream every Wednesday at 7 p.m. as well as uh, Saturday and Sunday at 8 a.m. So be sure that to uh, subscribe so that you guys can be notified for that. Um, and also, before we close, big thank you to all of you guys that have subscribed to my channel. We are over 3,000 subscribers. I literally can't believe that we actually... First of all, I can't even believe that we hit 1,000. So big thank you. To all of you guys, I am so incredibly thankful for all of your support, for watching my videos, watching my shorts, my streams. You guys are awesome. Big thank you to you. If you guys haven't already, go check out some of my older videos. I'm pretty proud of them. I got my review for uh, Astrobot that's up recently. Uh, I recently beat Boulder's Gate. Took me a year to beat it. But a ton of great videos that I'm really proud of. So go check them out. Put comments on those. Let me know what you guys think. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. They are everywhere. Honored brother, join us, and you may sate your rage and aid our cause. Lead me to the slaughter.